Hey everybody, welcome to part two of our three part video series on uh, a couple of Max Expedition. Today we're going to be talking about the Max Expedition M2, which is this little beauty right here. Um, and let's take a look at the uh, catalog listing. Uh, we'll find it um, somewhere. Uh, you know, we could just look through the catalog together, but um, here we go. Waste packs. <laughs> I knew it was somewhere near there. So here we have the M2 listing. All right, and uh, what does it tell us about the M2? So um, it's the item number 0308. M as in Mike-2 waste pack. And it's for cell, PDA, and cameras. And the main compartment is three and a half inches. I guess that's that way. 5.2 inches, which would be that way. And 1.8 inches, which would be that direction. And it comes in, I'm gonna count this time. One, two, three, four, five lovely colors. So it comes in black, OD green, khaki and foliage for $23.99 and if you want that uh, fabulous digital foliage camo uh, that's two bucks more for $25.99 okay so let's look at the design and features of uh, the little M2 right here you have a little snap closure this nice cute little uh, sculpted flap and um, I, I can kind of tell by the way they're they're uh, displaying uh, in the photographs here, they show an, an antenna sticking up. So I'm kind of thinking the engineering was to leave the sides open so that uh, uh, a radio antenna, other communication device like that, uh, could stick up um, with the flap closed. So that makes sense. But it does, uh, actually I kind of like the look of that. I think that's uh, an attractive little flap closure. And the, um, they don't give us the dimensions on that pocket, but I have, oops, let me grab it, a little handy-dandy measuring tape. So here we go. Let's see. So that pocket is three and I'm going to call that three and three quarters. Oh, nope, a little bit deeper than that. I'm sorry. Four and a quarter inches deep on the inside and um, side to side there. Get that flap out of the way. Uh, that's right about three inches uh, wide across here. Uh, you know, I can't really tell because I can't get internally to measure that. I don't have my calipers on me, but it does look to me like there's a slight taper at the top that the pouch might be a little bit wider through this section than it is right at the very top. That could be an optical illusion because of the curve to the top of the pouch there, but in my use, I've, I've kind of felt like that was true. So I'll talk about that in the next video. But there you go. We also have a couple of uh, handy little pen pockets here uh, on either side. These these are great for standard size straight pens. They, they fit wonderfully well. The cap slides nicely over uh, that outer edge. But I tend to use these pens that have the little fat, squishy part down here. And those obviously aren't going to fit down in there properly. But what I have found is that, um, you know, I can put them in upside down uh, and they'll ride in there just fine. Uh, my only complaint with that is that then the the tip is kind of sticking up. And I've had that poke me a time or two, so just be aware of that. But if you could also do uh, an outside carry like that, it's not as secure. Uh, so I wouldn't do it, but you could. Um, we'll talk more about utilization in the third video. So let's continue on. Here's the main compartment. You have double zippers. Again, it's the nice uh, wide double zipper. So those large teeth make it real easy to get that pouch open. And the zippers come halfway down the sides and that helps you to open up. You can see on the inside, I think I've got enough light. And you can see there's a couple of inner uh, uh, pockets uh, on the sides. There's a divider on either side, and then it's open straight down the middle. Um, and the nice thing with the double zippers, besides the obvious points about which way you can open that from and being able to zip from either end or whatever, is it gives you actually a nice little 
hand carry option. So there's kind of a little built-in strap. And this is my everyday carry pouch, and um, that's how I use it, is uh, carrying it that way. The back side, you have your pass-through opening for your belt carry, uh, and that's nice and easy. Uh, feed your belt through that, and that will ride right on your waist uh, nice and comfortably. It doesn't stand up too tall, um, so I think that uh, that be that's a real comfortable carry when you have it on your person. Uh, and then, of course, you have your PALS uh, webbing here for attaching it to whatever gear bags that you might use uh, or want to, to attach it on as an extra utility pocket. Nice little feature is there is a nice little slash pocket right back there on the back side, uh, which is something that Maxpedition seems to do in these smaller pouches to, to try to put in as much utility as possible, and they do listen to their customers' feedback. So I'm sure somebody said, hey, why not make a little slash pocket back there? Um, and you can put some emergency cash or um, other um, small items back there. So yeah, that's that's a nice feature. Dig that. As with all the Max Edition gear, you can see you have uh, your high quality nylon construction. You have double stitching for all of your zippers, and you have edge banding around all the edges with a nice nylon edge banding. Um, you've got a reinforced plate behind your clip here so that uh, that doesn't pull through I and mean, you've got your paracord attachments uh, for your zipper pulls so overall for you know the uh, cost of 24 bucks to 26 bucks depending on what uh, color fabric you get there I think this is a great value it's excellent design very versatile and uh, uh, I think will meet the needs of uh, a lot of uh, people so there's uh, the overview of the Maxpedition M2 Waste Pack. Hope you've enjoyed the video and stay tuned for part three.